Hello, uh, so I'm Trav, and I'm going to be putting together a little acid techno jam. Should be a fun one. I've been kind of working on this all afternoon, uh, patching it up. And let me briefly, briefly kind of tell you what's going on. It's a little complex, so it's maybe hard uh, to explain, and I don't remember everything where I patched everything. It's kind of, I remember some stuff, but... Um, anyways, the Percons here is got the, this is pretty much the main beat, as well as the master clock. So the master clock is coming over here to the Error Instruments clock block, and from there it's going out to a bunch of different things, triggering stuff. Um, we got, uh, recently, uh, from non-linear circuits, we got some really cool stuff. We got the Ming rod, which is kind of a, uh, ring modulator kind of thing. Um, then we, uh, we got the, the Fuck It VCF, which is awesome. I was really stoked that, uh, this was thrown in. Um, so, thrown into the mix here. We got the Suppository of All Wisdom doing some funky stuff. Uh, the Balter here, the, also from Nonlinear Circuits, we have that, um, taken, tweaking a couple of the beats as well as taken the um, envelope generated from the uh, liquid foam here, got that going into the CV input here, so it's giving it a little more uh, movement and stuff. The main bass coming from the liquid foam, but we got a little bit of deep bass coming from the Percons too. Uh, the gentle wham here is picking up some like extra uh, laser beam sounds and kind of other percussion. I got that in the mix. Then we got all mixed down through some uh, Pittsburgh modular. We got the Okapi. Um, also got some VCFs going through here. Uh, the Wolf. Oh, and then the uh, the Dunst from Isakul F. Mobenthe. That one uh, is doing just some like kind of. I can show you that actually before we get started. Here, listen. It's getting. Um, I got this laser sound here, and it's giving a little crackle if you can hear in the very background. Not a whole lot, but it gives a little atmosphere, which I think helps for the overall sound. So yeah, so um, that's pretty much what's going on here. The last thing to show you is pretty cool. We got the um, DivKid mutes, which are really handy. I like using those. Uh, they'll light up once we get going. But then I also, this was one of the only things I've actually built myself, was these little Arcadian rhythms from Synthrotech. And I got those using some of the little, I don't remember what they're called from Air Instruments, but they're like these little, they basically, it's just like a volume kind of knob here, and you're going in from the full CV output here and turning it down a little bit. And when it turns it down, I have all those coming through one of this octopus cables from uh, Bifaco going into uh, something here on the data bender. I think it might be the repeats. Either way, such that you're getting these like glitchy, stuttery snare drum things. Um, I didn't hook up the dot, dot for uh, joystick yet, but maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't think this patch is done yet, but this is kind of like the initial jam. So anyways, that's enough talking. Uh, let's get rocking. Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of it. We'll wind it down here. <laughs> Some interesting harmonics, you know, like basically all the CV signals going into the data bender there at the end. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. There's a couple of kind of goof ups there and stuff, but all together, pretty solid little jam. So maybe we'll I'll layer in some acoustic percussion or do some other stuff along those lines. But, uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Rock on. <laughs> 